Hey everyone, and welcome back to episode 5 of Lots of Giants. Last episode, I've just, I've just, I've just got to say it. Triple back! Triple back! Triple back dusk! It's so good. It's so good. I'm, I'm hoping. I'm hoping for a cane and a tan this run. But we continue exploring the world, starting again, working on base, things like that. Uh, Pig King shenanigans, trinkets, gold, all of that jazz. I still want to finish mapping out this world. Finding the beefalo and hugging them into oblivion. Now that I think about it, it would be a good idea because it's autumn, not spring, so that means we want to be prepared for winter. And as always, I'll be using double thermal stones because that's just sort of like what I like in it. Well, it does work, okay? But, mm, I should save this meat and use it as meatballs. But anyway, it does work. Hey, we found our mosaic biome, which means I can definitely get some gold here. Maybe not a lot. What do you have in your inventory, Chester? Nothing. I, I, I never use stingers and lots of giants, like, ever. <laughs> I don't feel bad about that. Store half my grass, half my twigs, so I can keep picking up stuff. Mm, I think that's okay. And yeah, let's let's get in mine and let's, let's stay busy here. Light sources. I just have my lantern. I know I always have a lantern on me, and people always see me use a torch. And I always get triggered. But, like, I like to save my lantern. I mean, if I don't need a more valuable light source, then I don't want to use it. Because that requires going to the caves or using fireflies. And I mean, I guess I could just capture a bunch of fireflies, but at least until I get to that point. I always like to use torches when I know I'm not dealing with any kind of like hairy situation or combat or something like that. I love to have like a full lantern on hand. Whenever like a boss spawns or a hound attack ensues. And I need to put a light source down. Like I need, I need a light source. Like I need that. I don't, I don't need any fancy light sources right now when I'm just running around doing what I'm doing. I can just keep checking the map and things like that. But yeah, there's my, there's my rant on why I like to spam torches. <laughs> it, 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 it's okay. It's okay. I think once I make a bug net though, and I have a hefty stack of fireflies, I'll be using the lantern a little more heavily this run, just so I can keep moving and taking advantage of my movement speed as this character. <laughs> Are we actually finding? Are we finding what I think we just found? Is this going to be a little rinky-dink one attached to a mosaic? Or is this going to be a real-life rocky biome? I never get real-life rocky biomes anymore! Yes! Yes! I love gigantic rocky biomes. Because rocks. <laughs> and gold. But mainly rocks and gold. And there's ice. And I don't really need the flint so much. The niter's good, but... Ah, it's kind of sort of real life rocky biome. It's good enough. It's good enough. I'm gonna roll with it. I I don't know. It's been a really long time with lots of giants since I got a real big rocky biome, and here it is. Now there's all the uh, the ice here, and I kind of really want to take it because that would be filler for days. Hmm. How much left do we have to explore before we go back to base? It can't be much. There might be some more mosaic, if this is a big rocky biome, there'd be like a rocky biome and some mosaic, something something along these lines. Which means that I'm, ma I'm making my way back home. So I guess I could mine up the ice here. I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind ice. I wouldn't mind mining up ice. Ah, that'd be good. Those rocks right there, they're nothing special, but they're space very, very good. I... We'll save this for DeFi. I could also use these, but these are gold rocks, so they're more important. Just in case I'm out here for some dumb reason. Speaking of which, I still have not put down my double endos, right? Yeah. I, I have the other one pre-crafted. Definitely need to put them down before I forget. I have to get on that. I have to get on that. But yeah, I, I mean, I'm here. I have a gold pick. There's gold everywhere. I can solve any and all of these woes now if I do this. So tell you what. I'll hit up some gold. Put up some gold and hit up some ice. Winter, obviously, being the next season, and pangols being an annoyance. <laughs> I can get all the ice I ever need, but I mean, I'm kind of out here already, so why the hell not? Um, let me see here. That's right, I didn't prototype all the gold tools because I've been saving my gold. Yeah, I, I just want to step up the gold tools. Screw, screw the flint tools. Wilbur's moving on up in the world. Wilbur's got it. Wilbur's got it made. Wilbur's a good guy. Eight days left. Uh, we're getting close. We're getting close. We have 
We have we have plenty of time, but it, sh it it wouldn't be a bad idea to start committing to getting that beefalo horn to get that beefalo hat, so I don't have to worry. Getting my devil thermal stones pre-crafted, otherwise I'll forget when time arises. Also, I didn't get a pan flute next to Glamour, so that blows. It means we're unless I can find some mandrakes, means we're not getting ourselves a pan flute. Um, an ice staff is like the next best alternative. It obviously doesn't really do everything that a pan flute's gonna do, because that AoE puts people to sleep and well, everybody to sleep with one right click. Ice staff can freeze things and keep them out of the fight for a little bit, but if there's multiple bosses on screen, one smacks the other, and then, well, aggro ensues and they unfreeze. So. Hmm. It wouldn't hurt to at least have an ice staff or two on tap for a boss fight. Just in case, because again, always try to go for all of the boss drops where possible. It is motherfucking pouring. Please stop. This is like spring tier rain. Go away. This is autumn. This is autumn. You knock this shit off. Wilbur, Wilbur does not like. Wilbur does not want. This is. The, I am the monkey king. You will do as I say, Mother Nature, you filthy whore. Shut up and listen to me. <laughs> I don't think she's gonna listen. I don't think she's gonna listen to, to my poor buddy. Well, I can just imagine those ooh ee ooh ah ahs. I know what he's really saying. I know what he's really saying. <laughs> Mother Nature, stop it, you filthy whore! Okay. My belly is pee empty. Mm, I have some stuff to use, but I sort of want to hang on to it and try to make some rank-ass meatballs or something like that when I get back home. Uh, it's still going into rotting, but I think we have enough time. 25 gold, now we're back down to 23. Yep, now we're back up to 25, so this is so nice. I won't be starved for gold this run, and I won't have to, like... I mean, not that I don't want to farm tumbleweeds, but I won't have to go out of my way to farm tumbleweeds for trinkets. Yes! I don't know what it is about you, Wilbur, but you got some, uh... You got some good RNG, dude. You got you got some good roll gen this time around. Enjoy it while you can. Because cause DS is fickle. She'll take it back somehow. I'll get, I'll get screwed over in some other way. That's just how it's gonna be. Dude, this rocky body was huge. This is everything I've ever wanted. Thank you, game. Thank you, game. Almost enough ice for two flingomatics. I already have one at base, but two just two worth in my inventory. Not that I need them, unless hmm, I could go for bees. We have time before the winter hits, so like that they they can actually produce. But of course, spring and summer they'll they'll do work, 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 work. I have gears. I know where I can find more gears. I would need silk, but bees would mean honey, which would not that I usually ever have a food problem, but that would further, <laughs> further, uh, further make a dent in the food supply, shall we say. I wouldn't even have to worry about food ever. Hmm, that sounds pretty tempting, and I got the ice for it. I think I'll at least try. Man, there's, no, there's more rocks up there that'll work for DeFi. I think we'll at least try to get some bee boxes. My inventory is getting pretty full, so let's shuffle some things around here. I'm also getting pretty moist. That is something else I have not made. Right, I haven't made an umbrella. I'm hoping I don't really need one because it's an autumn spawn. Rain's only going to last so long, and then we're going to go into winter. And by then, I suspect if all goes well... We'll have a Deer Clops eyeball, and we'll get ourselves the umbrella. That's most definitely what I would prefer. Hello, Qualifant. Or Warg. I could totes, you know, follow you down, but I'm gonna let you go. I got more important things to do. Look at this ice! 30, please? Yes! Look at that, that's two Vlegos right there. Two Vlegos. Wilbur, you, you magnificent motherfucker. The only thing else you need to make this world perfect would be like a retrap and some mandrakes. Can you make it happen? And I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know what gods you worship, buddy, but can you make it happen? Mm. Fingers crossed. Uh, my god, this is a really big rocky bio. I forgot what it's like to have one. It's so weird. There's so much of everything. There are resources. Go figure. Uh, I'm getting pretty hungry. Mm. I don't want to use the meat either. I might just eat the butterfly wings. I mean, I can make butter muffins, but like, eh. You also could use those filler. Those are good DeFi rocks, but on the same token, so are those. So goodbye gold. 
obviously you take precedent. Um, yeah, we'll put a campfire down tonight just to probably cook up some food. I don't necessarily need to dry off. There's no more rain, so that'll go bye-bye on its own. Berries, or maybe the carrots. Car carrots you don't really want to use in too many crockpot recipes if you can avoid it, because carrots on their own are very, very, very good. I mean, I cook carrots 3 HP, and I don't remember if it's like 12.5 hunger or whatnot, but a cooked carrot's really good. A berry's like 9.4 or something silly like that, so it's... Sure, it's not a vegetable, but it's like a better filler to be using, so... We'll straight up eat some carrots. Wilbur likes his carrots. He needs his veggies. That vitamin A, man. Because <laughs> I'm sure some people wanted to actually hear the sound he makes. There you go. Now we eat the carrots. But yeah, carrots are very, very filling. Good for you. Brick craft that campfire, and... I do still have a torch to use. Mmm... This is meh. this is a meh idea. Go 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 go. Yeah. Maybe a meh idea, but you know what? It worked. And it gets the shit out of my inventory because I don't need it for any reason. I mean, rip my sanity. But beyond that, who cares? We'll be picking up pedals here in no time at all. Come on, space bar. Good job. Six percent torch. Don't fail me now. Six percent torch. You failed me. You bastard. All right, back back to the grind. So, when we loop around, we'll be going through Mosaic and then some more grassland. Hopefully, we can come across some flowers, because my sanity, to be fair, is in the dumps. Or, I could just stay insane and work toward Dark Swords, because... I don't know, Warly, we did Ham Bats. Weber, it was like Tentacle Spikes. Wawani, it was Ham Bats, wasn't it? I'm trying to think of the last few characters. I think it's been a bit since I've really committed to Dark Swords. Having that extra damage was definitely nice. So maybe we'll go for Dark Swords as Wilbur, just to give him that extra punch he needs. Because he's lacking a pan flute in his arsenal, so he can take he can get every advantage that he or he can he needs every advantage that he can get, basically, is what's going on here. I'm not against that in the slightest. So screw it! I ain't gonna pick up flowers, we'll just stay crazy. Sadly, if I go back to base and start prototyping shit, I get sanity. I don't I don't, I don't think I want sanity right now. So bee boxes, and press the hatitator so I can get to uh, I can work towards my shadow and nip. And I don't remember if I brought back a purple gem from the bishops or not. I don't, rem I don't I don't remember. I'll check once I get back there. But I'll need a purple gem too, and then just nightmare fuel and living logs. So that's going to require, or rather, it'd be better if I get an old bell. We can down glomer before the next full moon. I'd go to the forest and just wreak havoc. I could feed pigs. Pigs don't hate Wilbur, which is nice. And we could use the piggies to go destroy trees. Could chop poison birch nuts, which, yeah, it's an increased chance of getting tree guards. All the poison birch nutters. Did I say, did I say chop poison birch nutters? Because if I did, I meant chop birch nuts. With the birch nut trees. But uh, yeah, you have an increased chance of getting the birch, the poison birch nutters anyway. So I guess that's a fair amount of living logs. It's not as many as like the evergreens and the lumpy tree guards, but eh, it's something, right? So, I gotta get living logs, and that's always the kicker. That is always the kicker. We looped around yet? No, we have not. This biome is huge! Oh my god, I just noticed I have over a stack of ice. And it's starting to go bad, so like... I need to go home! I really need to go home! I don't, I, I, I don't know if I should keep mining! This is so good! Look at all the rocks I have! I can't, I can't pass this up, it's too good! There's too much! What? What? Rocky biomes, what are these? It's almost like I've never played this game before and the first time I've ever seen one, it's been so damn long. I've been starved. Ah, ah I've been starved. Game. Teehee. Anyway, what, what, what's, what's going on here? What the hell? Nice straight line all the way back. So, yeah, I don't have a full stack of gold. I guess I'll top the stack of gold off and I will stop mining and just focus on making my way back to base. Cause I, I've got resources and I need to drop them off. Chester can carry some stuff, but like the the ice is not gonna keep safe and the food going bad. I'd like to convert it into a meatball real quick. Okay, that's gonna be all the gold that I want because that makes a stack. Sorry, Chester, we're getting the hell out of here. We can come back later, man. Barbia Savannah is that the one that I've seen before? No, that's a different savanna entirely. Hmm. I could loop all the way around and explore it, but I still think going to base would be better. So where's base? Okay. 
Oh, that's right. That's how, that's how I, I just remembered. That's how you can maintain running uh, your run speed as well, bro, while using your map. So you press tab and you hold the key. And you're, like, you know you're doing it right when your map's moving like that. Eh, yeah, that, that, that's like one of the ways. So I can pretty much just beeline it. But, yeah, I gotta get good at uh, maintaining movement speed whenever I use the map as Wilbur again. Oh god, the road. The road. Let's use, let's use mouse movement here to go even quicker. Yes! Oh no, road, you bastard, you betrayed me. <laughs> you son of a bitch. You, this, is the, this is what you do to me. After all I've done for you, Road. You monster. Uh, I, I, it, it feels awkward, I'm not gonna lie. But I don't have to examine everything anymore. Because, like, my examines are non existent. <laughs> it's just awkward. Because in every LOG round, it's like, examine this, examine that, examine this, examine that. And then, like, I don't have to do it anymore. Hound's teeth, sure. And we're just right here over by base. Nice! Still didn't get a birdcage down, that is something to note. Wouldn't mind bacon and eggs. That way I can recycle all the meat that we have. But... My priority right now, get the shit in the icebox. Oop, I'm going the wrong way. Yeah, get the shit in the icebox, make up these meatballs so I can fill up my tummy. And... well, we'll go from there. So, I gotta make my actual crock pot. Let's store this. Uh, I didn't use my lantern yet, so I do have room. Okay. Mm Let's make the crock pot. So one, two, and three. I don't have any charcoal, but I can burn enough to at least unlock the recipe real quick. And we can get by on a single crock pot as I make more. This is like unprecedented. The fact that I have no room for rocks, gold, flint, things of this nature. What is going on? What is, what is this? Is this real life? Is, it, is this real life? This is what happens when you have a rocky biome in your world. This is weird. Uh, I mean, I'll eat a few berries to, to tide me over. Now, what am I burning down in terms of trees? There's a fair amount by Maxwell's door, which is really close to base. Uh, there's kind of a forest over that way. You know what? Maxwell's door has got a nice concentration of those. And because I have so much gold, Let's unlock our, ourselves a gold axe, make a new torch, and goodbye Maxwell's Doors trees. You, you, you guys, you've served, you served me well. I can just follow this road. I can just follow this road in its entirety. <laughs> the camera angle looks really weird. I like, like, you can actually see his feet. <laughs> well, I guess there's hands. Durr. Like, you, like the running animation. It's so derpy looking. I'm not gonna lie, the animation's so derp looking, but it's great. All oh, this cactus flesh. I need it. Maxwell's door, where are you? Okay, we're by our volt goats. Okay, hey, Maxwell's door. Hey, also goodbye, annoying evil flowers. Which I could pick to go crazy if I really cared, but I'm here for charcoal. One thing at a time. Burn! You're damn right I harvested that grass before it went up in smoke. I knew it was going to happen, too. Uh, well, this light will last me a fair amount of the night. That's, that's, that's pretty neat. Chester, what are you, don't, don't die with what you have in your inventory. I would be sad. Uh, right, well, I prefer to be able to see while I work here. So, I, I still have, you know what, like, I think once I go back to base, I'm just gonna make myself that freaking endo. And, like, a little bit north of base, just get it done. Because I, I keep forgetting. I absolutely keep forgetting. I can't see. I can't see. Don't make me use. Don't make me use my lantern. I'll do it. I'll just hold spacebar here, and our, our, our good buddy Wilbur will do work. Yeah, yeah. We'll just do. We'll do it that way. We'll slowly lose sanity this way too. So now I have enough charcoal to make two crock pots, going on three. And five's good enough, but any extra charcoal for other recipes would be cool. I mean, while I'm here, while the stuff's chopped down or burnt down, I might as well chop it. Sorry, Maxwell's door. I'm sorry, buddy. I don't know if we're gonna make the abomination at Maxwell's door again. I mean, I might, I might as well. It's awfully close to base. It looked pretty cool last time. I must admit, it looked pretty cool. 23 charcoal. That's respectable. It's more than I had. Uh, is there a tree here? That oh, there's toasted tree here and there's toasted tree to my right. Yes. Let's see. My god, the insanity noises. Wilbur, are you okay, buddy? 
Do you do you need to see a doctor? Oh, he pooped. No, he really needs to see a doctor. Is there blood in your stool? Because that's a very serious issue, Wilbur. Uh, I don't know how he went from being insane to, like, checking his stool for, for blood, but, well, WebMD up in here. Because, you know, go to WebMD if you want to diagnose yourself with cancer. <laughs> WebMD, where every one of your symptoms leads to cancer. This is true. This is true. Don't ever try and diagnose yourself. It's just it's just weird. I, uh, I know I'm getting on a tangent here, but it's a little bit weird. Tier 3 trees! I ought to kill you. But the crockpot's got to come first. I'd kill you for some logs and then, honestly, some pine cones so I can actually have my own little forest here to work with. Ice! I need to save you! I need to save you! What the fuck? I definitely clicked on the ice box. Um... I, I don't know why I clicked on that. I should've used that. Okay, we'll, we'll use our lantern next night. Anyway, let's unlock the crock pot. Unfortunately for me, that means sanity. That is not what I'm after. Uh, I'll do it this way, or right here. So, to save some of this meat, make ourselves some meatballs, and we'll use the berries first, because berries go bad. Ice does not. Ice is eternal. I, of course, I pick up the th I pick up the three stack. I gotta pick up rocks to make a bunch of stuff, and I pick up the three stack. God damn it, game! Sometimes I really fucking hate you. <laughs> Uh, well, there's a meatballs. Ashes, I don't need them. I'm not gonna make healing salves or anything silly along those lines. I don't know if I have room in here for poop. I do not, so we'll do this. Chester, give me all your twigs and your grass and things of this nature. Uh, the monster meat. I should make myself a bug net. That would be a good idea so I can go get my fireflies. No, 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 you drop the dark petals. Pre-craft this thing, and what I am here to do right now is make sure I have that pre-crafted. Give myself some one more cut stone. Well, I guess I need two more cut stone because I only need two doodads. Okay, and then I can make another one of these. So we're gonna get the stupid fireplace down right now. Where do we want to put it? Right up here by a road would be good. Having a road to use for kiting is a blessing, for sure. These bees being killer bees and and, you know, depending on the season, it's going to be really annoying. So I might want to break these ones now when I make my bee boxes. And just put my fire here. Nope, nope, wrong, wrong, wrong thing. So endothermic fire pit right there. Pre-craft you. And always hold control. So if you put that right there, that will not block D-Fly. If you're using Geo Placement, make sure you hold control. I say this all the time. Make sure you hold control to get it as absolutely close as you possibly can. Otherwise, you run the risk of being smacked in the face by D-Fly and your plan falling short and, well, rip your face. Unless, of course, you're using a road, walking cane, and you know how to kite D-Fly. Otherwise, you're fucked, because you can kite D-Fly on a road with a cane pretty easily if you at least know what you're doing. It's pretty risky compared to that strat, which you can just stop her, but it works. Alright, uh, I still need cut stone because crock pots, but let's put the other one that we have down now. Yeah, buddy. I got my crack pots. I got some of my crack pots. So I can get my sanity up. Um, I wanted to unlock the bug net. And capturing a bird is going to require four silk. I have silk on me, but there we go. There we are. Let's unlock the bird trap. And then I can go get my reeds. Well, there's there seeds right there. I can go get my reeds, we can make ourselves papyrus, and we can have a birdcage too. But I still want to work on honey, which is going to require another bug net, because I need to start capturing bees on top of that. Charcoal, well, I would be foolish to not just make another crockpot or something while I'm at it. I mean, I can make two more, it's, it's six to each recipe, so yeah, let's just knock this out right now. Right here. And, oh, oh, I thought I made an extra one. I guess I didn't. Stay on that line. Boom. And I can't make another crockpot until, of course, I get myself more charcoal. You know what? That's not the log chest. We're going to make a log chest. I will rip my my logs in the supply. Or in the, in, in the supply. I'll rip my supply in the name of the, the log chest. The, 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 the burnables chest. Something like that. The burn chest. I don't know. I usually put shit that's flammable in there. Minus grass and twigs. 
So, marker. Boom. That, motherfucker, I said store. And, well, hey, birdie. I would be a fool to not go chop those trees right now at tier 3 and continue to spread the pine cones. I need logs, I just made a dent in my own supply. And I'm right here, so screw it. So, reeds. Because I have the bird now, I can make my bird cage. And I need to start collecting seeds. And I still don't have my beefalo hat. That's the biggest point of concern for me. No way to maintain warmth other than a thermal stone. Which I guess I should just go pre-craft too. But I don't want to keep getting the sanity. I can just eat raw green caps before I kill it, but yeah, I don't want to do that. Ooh, I need to make my meatballs too. But anyway, guys, it does look like it's time to wrap. Yeah, I got it. Just fuck it. I'll just, we'll just pre-craft this thing. Or I'll just unlock this. It does look like it is time to wrap the episode up here. Sorry to say, episode five of Lots of Giants. Time flies in LOG. That's just sort of how it works. Can't believe I'm on episode five already. It's because I'm playing Wilbur. It's because I enjoy playing Wilbur so much, isn't it? That's essentially what's going on. But uh, next episode, still really want to focus on it. Beef flow hat, still obviously want to focus on a hell of a lot of infrastructure. Keep working on base, making sure I'm prepped for winter. Because I want to make constant non-stop attacks on Mac Tusk until I get my cane and my Tam. Wilbur will not rest until he has both of those. At least, I won't let him rest until he has both of those. But either way, guys, again, wrap it up here. Episode 5. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time.